Good evening, I'm Jack Cottle. A day after her address to a joint session of the legislature, Governor Kristi Noem has her first sit down with local media, explaining what the state might do in support of the Texas governor in his attempts to stop illegal immigration. The governor defended her decision to have a joint session of the legislature, saying the crisis at the southern border has a major impact on South Dakota. And the state of Texas may once again ask for South Dakota's help. The state has deployed troops to the border twice before, once for the Biden administration, and then independently. Yes, I want the legislators, I want the people of South Dakota to know that this could be asked of us in the future. And I, as commander in chief, may be faced with that decision on if we're going to send soldiers again. And we'll make a wise decision that's well informed, but I wanted them to know that that could be a potential decision that we'll have to face in the coming months. A main point no made during her address was about the impact illegal immigration has on crimes, specifically drugs and human trafficking, claiming that drug cartels are committing murders on the Pine Ridge Reservation and in Rapid City. Following the address, District 27 Representative Puri Purrier, whose district includes Pine Ridge, says she had a frank conversation with the governor. Is there a problem in Pine Ridge? Yes. Do we need help? Yes. What do those solutions look like? Courier added that the state and tribes need to tackle the difficult, layered, complex issues that they face today.